Hello everyone, welcome to this Monbuka Gaku Show video part 4. So this is some kind of, of the element from the periodic table. So it says that number 1, A and B are elements that belong to period 5 and 6. So you know the period 5 and 6 in the periodic table is this. So they say that both the substances are solid under room temperature. To an aqueous solution containing cations of that element, it says that dilute hydrochloric acid was dropped to the solution to, pr to produce white precipitate. Upon rinsing with boiling water, the precipitate was partially dissolved. Well, this is actually kind of related with the Volta, Volta series. If you uh, understand Volta series, which is actually lithium, sodium, barium, calcium, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, mangan, then H, uh, H2O, then zinc, chrome, cobalt, then ferrum, cadmium, nickel, stannane, uh, plumbum, H+, and the series continue, copper, mercury, silver or argentum, platinum, and gold. Okay, so I'll explain the series. In this type of series, it is uh, the reactivity increase and it has higher reduction potential. And at this one, all of these elements reacted with water. And this one, zinc until plumbum, this one reacted with H+, but could be unreactive when it is uh, mixed with water. So it could be when you mix this with water, it could result in precipitate, something like that. Okay, so, and then uh, for the next is, for this one, copper, uh, mercury, silver, platinum, and gold, it uh, didn't react with H+. So when you mix this with an element that contains H plus ion, it didn't react. So it could be resulted in another precipitate, right? So the way to do this is actually quite uh, simple. If you look at the period 5 and 6, you will look at some elements is uh, concluded in this Volta cells, right? If you see that from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there are rubidium until xenon. And the only element inside that, which in this Volta cells, is actually silver and stunning, which is pretty much shocking, but yeah. And for the period 6, from cesium to radon, you can see that none of them is actually... Oh, I think that is only plumbum in 6, and this is in 5. So let us see. To an aqueous solution containing cations of A and B, it says dilute hydrochloric acid was dropped to produce white precipitate. The way that it says white precipitate, meaning that the element itself doesn't actually dissolve or react with the HCl. We know that HCl is actually H plus and Cl minus. So it doesn't react with this or this or both of them. We can see that the only elements that didn't react with this is actually silver and plumbum and stunning. Although this is behind H+, but the way that it is reacting, it could be uh, resulted in small amount of precipitate, while silver resulted in more precipitate. And if you wonder that actually silver has a color of white when mixed with Cl, Cl minus, right? So the answer that, oh, for this also, both simple substances are solid under room temperature. 
And what do you think is the form for our uh, elements here, whether it is solid or whether it is gas or liquid? So in the solid uh, room temperature, both, I mean, three of them are actually solid, the silver, stunning, and plumbum. But the most, uh, I mean, the most accurate answer for that is actually silver and stunning. Now, if you look at the original answer key, it says that this is silver and lead, right? So, lead is stunning. So, the answer for this A is actually silver and stunning. But I suggest you to actually write the original name. I mean, the result is silver and this is lead, right? Number two, there are, now this is the very different element now. Both C and D are elements that produce stable trivalent cations in an aqueous solution. And in an aqueous solution containing this as trivalent cations, the aqueous ammonia was dropped to produce a gel-like precipitate. Upon the addition of concentrated sodium hydroxide, precipitate was partially dissolved and was partially dissolved and the majority of what of C is, was transferred to the supernatant. Now looking at the uh, voltage cell again, it says that it reacts with, with the ammonia. Ammonia is NH3, meaning that it has H+. Plus, okay? So, uh, of this uh, element, the one who have trivalent cations is actually aluminum and ferrum. So, it says that the precipitate was partially dissolved and majority of uh, one of these is transferred to supernatant. Do you know what is supernatant? Well, actually, if you have a you know, test tube, or a beaker for your reaction and let's say this is water and you have a precipitate this is the precipitate and the rest which is dissolved this is the supernatant meaning that the supernatant is more reactive than the than the precipitate so you see that by the H plus of these two elements the most reactive is aluminium so that's why this is Al and Fe. And you may wonder that ferrum is actually closer to the H plus element. So therefore, it could provide a, some kind of small amount of precipitate. And to the fact that I actually didn't know of how the hell that ammonia with this element produces a gelic precipitate. Well, I answer the question, I actually look at only the, to the fact that only this is actually transported to supernatant and that actually helped me to answer this question okay so that is the answer for part four i hope you you know understand of how these elements worked and yeah next video will be part five